Hi guys, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel today. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today is my completed pages for the month of July. Um, I have accomplished quite a few this month and I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I decided to record this video early just because I'm not sure if I'll get any more done in this month because I have a few things I have to do before the month is over that aren't coloring related. So hopefully um, I can kind of get things put away and then I can get a nice fresh start for August. And then I have some videos coming up like my haul video. And so any color or any coloring books that I show that are brand new that I colored in, in this video will be shown in the haul video as well. So yeah, I will get started. This is actually take two of this video. The first one, um, when I did the replay, I noticed that um, a lot of my books were not in frame. And then also I noticed that it was really blurry, like my screen's re resolution was freaking out. So I decided just to re-record. So I had to re-tab everything and recharge my phone and now we're good to go. So first off, let's get started with like my my goals. Um, I had wrote down some kind of like prompt goal type things to try to do for the month of July. I did the cute uh, Chibi Summer 2021 with Sophie's Coloring Journey here on YouTube. We did it for the whole, whole summer and so... Um, I took it upon myself on for this month to do a 24 hour chibi challenge where I colored chibis for 24 hours to see how many chibis I could color in a 24 hour period. And um, I invited anyone to join me. They were welcome to if they wanted to join. Um, then in my Facebook group, we're coloring in Summer Scenes by Teresa Goodrich for the next three months. We started in July and I didn't get a chance to color in that one. I did the Chibi Challenge, but I didn't get a chance to do Summer Scenes, but I have plenty of time because I can do it in August and September as well. And then I did um, a July breakdown prompts basically. So break it down, the letters uh, J-U-L-Y. For J, it was um, color in artists that start with the letter J. Um, I did complete four um, artists. And some of them I did on my own. Some of them were part of the Chibi Challenge. Just I tried to pull artists that started with a J if I could. And then U uh, was for uncolored books. And I actually did uh, 16 uncolored books this month, which is really good. So that's why I treated myself to a pretty large haul, which you guys will be seeing because I completed so many pages in so many uncolored books. And then uh, L was for LOL or funny pages. And I got all four of them done. It was a little tricky to find funny pages, but I found a few of them. And then the last one is Yummy, and I did four pages for Yummy, which means like food or treats or drinks or things like that, things of that nature. So that's kind of my goals. I pretty much accomplished all the goals that I needed to crush the uncolored books, and um did the chippy challenge so that is a good thing so i'll put this one away and then i have this little notebook that i got at back to school time last year i need to go to walmart and see if i can find some more of these i actually love this size of book if i find another one of these books it could have something else on the front but same style and stuff i might get it to use it as my swatch book I don't have a swatch book. I've never been into swatching, but I just love the size of this book and I would be willing to create a swatch book 
in a book this size. But um, I will show you my half year stats because I didn't show them in June. So I've kind of made like a bar scale thing. I wanted to see roughly uh, monthly if I was like doing about the same progress or if like one month I was way up there, way down there, but it seems pretty, pretty level. So I think I do pretty good about staying under the 50 mark. And um, for my year, year to date status, and this was at the end of June, before July started, um, I had 226 completed pages for the year. So starting in July, I have written down all of the books that I have colored in, in July. And um, the first number is like the first page. The second number is my year to date um, number, which will be, this is number 227 to 28 and so on. This U stands for uncolored in books. And I put a check mark next to the ones that were basically had never been touched and um, just wrote them all down. And like if I did three, like a three in this one book or did two in this book, I did the little deals. And then, so my grand total for this month was 32. And right here was the 24 hour chibi challenge right here. So I got 32 pages done this month and my grand total is at 257. It really doesn't matter what your totals are every month. I'm just, honestly, I'm just curious to know how many coloring pages I do in a year. Like, I, I, cause I never really counted last year. And it, and when I look through my completed pages, like when I do my collection videos and stuff, I just, I always think, oh, I haven't colored enough. This is basically, I don't want to say justifying, or it's basically giving me a reassurance that, look, hey, you did color quite a few this, this year. Look at your total. It's just for basically a self, I don't know, gratification or self confidence boost that you did do it, good job type of a thing. So that's the only reason that I do the number thing if you guys are wondering. But yeah, I'll put that away. And I will show you my empties. There's not very many. So this is my empties basket. You can get these baskets at the Dollar Tree. I only have a few things in here. So I went through one Sharpie ultra fine point. It's like a lime green color. I finished off my uni Posca that is the super fine tip. I finished one art and fly um, chisel brush marker. This is the light yellow like pastel yellow. I went through one of my Cali art brush markers. This was the medium pink. And then I went through four of my Studio 71 markers, which is brush and chisel. I'm trying to use these up just because they're not my favorite, but they're okay. They do okay. So those are done. Now we'll get started with the completed pages. And if I say this was from a prompt or part of a goal or buddy color, I'll make sure to let you know. And I'll try to tell you guys what medias I used, mediums. I'm a mixed media girl, so most of the time I use more than one thing on a page. But we will get started. First book I have here is Snuggle Pot, Cuddle By, and Friends, a collection of classic illustrations to color by Mae Gibbs. And I colored this page right here. So this is a buddy color with Sonia's Mixed Media here on YouTube. Um, she messaged me and asked me if I wanted to do a buddy color in this. I said, absolutely. It took me a little longer than I thought. Uh, well, like I did everything and that happened really fast. But the frogs, I, 
I just left to last. <laughs> Uh, frogs are done in the Prismacolor Scholars. The little babies or cherubs or whatever they are, um, I did in the Bambino crayons. This little guy's done in gel pens right here. The flowers up here are Lyra um, colored pencils. Uh, the grass and the sky are done with King's Art gel crayons, and I've used a blender brush. And the, the water was done with metallic gelatos, and I used my water brush to put this on. And it looked kind of streaky, so then I added white acrylic paint over the top. And then I wanted to add sparkles, so there is stickles on the water. So it's shiny because it was the metallic gelato, but it's sparkly because of the stickles. So that is that one. Next one I have here is Blissful Nature by Creative Haven. And this one is by Jessica Mazurkowit. So check off for the letter J. And I did this watermelon page. So this is check off for yummy as well because I love watermelon, especially during the summer. And this is a buddy color with Ashley's Coloring Journey um, here on YouTube. And this isn't really a complicated color. This is really basic straight coloring for me. Um, like I didn't add any shading. I, yes, I added white gel pen, but I didn't add any shading. This is a basic color for me. Um, I did... Uh, permanent markers, like the Pen and Gear permanent markers. I have uh, the green is a Cali Art brush marker. Um, this orange color is a pastel brush marker. I don't know which one it was. And then I have uh, felt tip um, pens that are like, like the um, Paper Mate Flare type pens, but they're the Amazon Basic brand. That's what the dark orange is. And then the black is the Arteza Iconic. And then I have um, put shiny green washi tape on here. And the watermelons have glitter gel pen from Super Doodle. So if you can see that, I think it gives off pretty good glitter. And this is actually a really fun book. I'm not a pattern girl at all, but for some reason this book is very relaxing. I have done another page in here before, and it was really fun. Next book I have is this one. It's I Heart Cute Unicorns. This is published by Sterling Children's Books. And I did this one which is of the unicorns, uh, unicorn pencils. So it's actually pretty good for like back to school because it's color or it's pencils <laughs> and they're like erasers or something. But this whole thing is done with glitter gel pens. I did it while I was watching TV on the couch. I actually just had this on the armrest of the couch and took my gel pen and watched TV, scribbled, you know. And so it's all glittery. Oh, glittery. It's just very fun. And this greenish yellow color is like a neon glitter gel pen. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to look like that when I put it down on the paper, but that's okay. It almost like glows in the dark. It's so neon. I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but this is I Heart Cute Unicorns. <laughs> The next one I have here is my... Mama, can I have your book? Which books, honey? The unicorn one. Oh, you want to look through that one? I put it over here. It's mine now. So this is the Disney uh, Japanese Color by Number Pixel Book. And I hauled this one a while ago. I wanted to color in it just to see what I thought about it. And I just picked a page at random. I didn't look at the back. Um, after I colored it, I looked at the back to see what it was supposed to be. Um, so obviously here we have Minnie Mouse. And um, I started off doing the cross stitch method. 
the whole thing I had done in cross stitch method and I couldn't really tell who it was supposed to be. So I decided I would color the main image with the full color. And I was like, oh, that's Minnie, that makes sense. Well, maybe I will outline her so that she stands off from the cross stitch. And so I did that. It's not my favorite. So I think in the future, I will just color these as a full color and just go from there. I think this is supposed to be like a sunset or something and she's doing like a little curtsy thing, but yeah, it works and it, it made me know what I like and what I don't like in this particular book. And I think that the, the boxes, well, they seem pretty square and even. Um, when I looked at the front, I was worried that they'd be more like tiles, but these ones were more square and they're smaller than the ones in the French, um, Disney pixel books by Hachette Heroes. So, uh, I, I noticed that these are smaller, like Belva families kind of, no, uh, maybe they're a four by four, but see, like this one is more tile like, maybe it just depends on the page. But there is this one. And I was going to tell you who it was by, but I do not know. But you, this is a Japanese one, so you can only get this from like Amazon Japan, I think. Next book that I have is a brand new book that um, I had purchased. And so I colored in it right away because I just wanted to. I was just feeling the need. This is I Heart Kawaii, and um, this one's really adorable. If you look at this one on Amazon, everywhere where it's silver is blue on Amazon. So don't be thrown off. It is the same book, and this is an 8x8. Eight eight. So make sure when you look at these I Heart books by Sterling Publishing, um, you make sure you read the dimensions because they also make one that's like like this big so make sure you read the dimensions of what you're purchasing i know they have i heart bees and i heart rainbows that are coming out soon for us us girls this is the one that i did and i used um alcohol markers i think i used my spree um brush 50 count marker and a glitter gel pen, of course, because I, I can't color straight, apparently. I have to add something. And um, I did the outlining technique to make it pop off the page. And I'm going to kind of move it a little so you can see the glitter. This one's some kind of sparkle pop. I can tell the difference. And... Um, and this was for one of my prompts, the yummy prompt, because I thought that this could be like hot chocolate. I don't drink tea and I don't drink coffee, so I figured it could be hot chocolate. So, that is I Heart Kawaii. Next one I have I, that I colored in. This is in no particular order. Um, this is Chibi Princesses by Demita Victoria. I gave a full flip of this on my channel and I also showed it in a little haul video. I did this first page. It's a little warped because I used so much stickles on it, but I think it will be okay after time. Uh, I have washi tape border and I think this is supposed to be Elsa. I noticed my stickles kind of turned my snowflake kind of pink over there. That's okay. But my daughter said it has to be Elsa because it has an ice castle in the background. Of course. Um, the sparkle on the trees is actually glitter nail polish. These are stickles, stickles, stickles. Glitter or metallic gel pen, glitter gel pen. And her lips are um, the felt tip. Amazon basic felt tip pen. I like to use those for finer areas because they don't bleed out. So water-based. Her, her eyes, we have 
some alcohol marker, but I went out with a little shade of dark blue with a felt tip pen just to give it a little bit of dimension. And of course, we have white gel pen everywhere. <laughs> so yes, this is my Elsa girl. Can you hear the crinkle on that? It's good. And when I rub it, I get glitter on my hands. <laughs> I have two of them. Oh, oh yeah? The next one is 50 Jungle Miniatures by Camellia Angel Colba. This was recently released. Um, as soon as it was released, I had to purchase it because I just absolutely love the little tigers and the little characters in here. It's just adorable. Um, so I decided I wanted to color something that celebrated the 4th of July and also celebrated the 24th of July. Because here where I live, um, the 24th of July is Pioneer Day. And so um, I decided I would color this one. So this one I think is like the little chameleons. Um, I think they're like Pascal off of Tangled. That's what they look like to me. I wanted to do red, white, and blue color scheme. And um, here I have some washi tape that I just did on the side. And then I used... These little butterfly stickers that I got at the dollar store and did a red, white, and blue, red, white, and blue all the way up. And it's alcohol marker base. There is some jelly roll glaze on the eyes and the butterflies and this little flower. I have um, sparkle gel pen on both of these little guys and I shaded my my branches and my leaves with crayons inspired by Lauren Love's color. I watched her video and the crayons that I used were the color in motion twistable crayons and I also did some blending with alcohol markers and then the background I did not actually spray or anything it is the Jane Davenport pastels. Now, how I achieve this effect is I have a piece of paper I just cut in like a wavy pattern and I lay it down and then I put the pastels over it, moved it up and moved it up and so on. And then I would take it away and if it looked like it needed a spot, I would move it and so on. So that is how I achieved this cloud-like in the sky looking feel. Yeah. I really like how this page turned out. It's one of my favorites. So this is uh, 50 Jungle Miniatures. Next one I did here is uh, Black Background Summer, uh, colored by Numbers for Adults by Color Questopia. And this one was a buddy color. Also, it worked for Color Your Horde because it was the first page I had colored in this book. This was with Amanda Downey here on YouTube and Instagram. Um, after I had colored her basic with just um, alcohol markers, I decided to take um, like the darker tone to add some shading just to the hair and to her hat. And I think I did her shirt just a little bit. I did put some Jane Davenport for some blush on her cheek. And then I used a glitter gel pen for lip gloss type of a look. And I was running out of blues. So I decided to make my bubbles all the colors that I just liked. I really like yellow. My daughter really likes pink and purple. And so we did pink, purple, and yellow bubbles. And I like how it turned out. This is really, really pretty. I do like the black background ones. They seem to... You see, you can color them in fast, which is nice. And I always tend to not follow the rules when it comes to color by number. So this is Summer by Color Questopia. Right. Next one I have here. So this one, when I looked at my completed stack yesterday, I was like, what did I do on Millie Murata's Brilliant Beasts? I don't remember coloring in that. Yeah, do you ever have one of those moments where you look at your stack and it's been such a long month and you've done so much stuff 
you don't even remember what you colored. <laughs> that was my month. And I even posted this to Instagram. I don't know. I just, one of those months. Um, I decided, oh, where's the tab, to color this one. So one of the reasons why I decided to color in this book um, is a lot of my fellow color tubers are very intimidated by this book. Millie Murata books and I want to try to color more in them to show that you don't need to be intimidated um, you don't have to color every little thing here you can see I have colored this and then I shaded and colored this and shaded and I I can't tell you what pencils I use I can't remember honestly guys whatever pencils I had by my desk I'm sure and this is glitter gel pen where I actually went into the lines and obviously the bees were a base of Crayola super tip and then I kind of shaded a little bit and then the black is um, Arteza Iconic fine liners because they don't bleed through paper so your Arteza Iconics aren't going to bleed through these type of books. And we have Crayola super tips up here. I didn't even shade the berries. I left it just plain. And the blue right here is the King's Art gel crayons. Um, before I colored this, I put in the blue and then I colored this. And then the wings are um, like a glitter metallic light blue gel pen. It's like an off name brand. Nothing, nothing too special. But I will show you the glitter. I really like how glittery the beehive looks in those one areas. And I thought it was only fitting to color a beehive because I am from the beehive state, which is the state of Utah. So yes, that is the be my beehive from Brilliant Beasts. Next one. I colored in is Geomorphia by Kirby Roseanne's. I know that T is doing um, a, a, um, a year long thing on her Facebook channel in this book. And um, I have had this book in my collection for almost two birthdays now, and I had not ever colored in it. I don't know if I was just too intimidated or I was afraid to ruin something. Well, these are single sided and you shouldn't worry about it. You just go for it. So I decided I would make it fun, and this is what I did. Literally made it fun. Um, I was inspired by that movie Cool Runnings. Uh, it's on Disney uh, with the Jamaican bobsled team, bobsled team, and um, they have those really Rastafari type looking hats that are rainbow color. And so I made my snail like a Jamaican snail. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it was fun. Very bright, really colorful, which is totally my jam. And um, I use alcohol markers for pretty much everything. So it colored up really fast. I actually remember what I watched, what movie I was watching. When I colored this, I was actually watching the Rush Hour series, Rush Hour 1, 2, and 3. So I just had it like playing on my little thing next to my desk. The background um, is done with the, um, yeah, it's done with gelatos. I just held the tube and took my water brush and got it off the tube and then put it on the paper. I had a little bit of the orange mango and a little bit of the yellow, and I'd go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I think it looks great, so yeah. And the palm trees are colored with the... Um, they're called Stetler Triplus Broadliner. So the broadliners are bigger than the, um, the fine liners. They're just thicker on the end. And I actually like these better than the fine line because they're thicker. I wish that these came in like a 72, but they don't. So maybe someday. But that is that one. Wow. Super loud. Oh. 
<laughs> my daughter's in the background talking to me at the same time. Um, this next book is Cinnamon Bun Dreams, a comfort food coloring book by Squishable. And this is definitely for my yummy prompt for my goals. And I post this one to Instagram. People seem to really, really like it. I I will tell you, food is not my jam. I have a, I have major struggles coloring food. I don't know why. It's not complicated. I just I don't know. <laughs> so um, this is s'mores, basically. Uh, if you have never eaten a s'more. What it consists of is you have a roasted marshmallow and you have chocolate. It's from a chocolate bar. It's like plain milk chocolate. And then you um, sandwich it together with kind of like a graham cracker or like a graham biscuit type of thing. If you're from the UK, um, basically you sandwich them together while the marshmallow is still warm and it will melt down your chocolate. And it's just, oh, ooey gooey delicious very very messy it's a campfire treat that is why there's a stick because you roast them over the fire usually and that is why there's flames in the background this was really tricky i will tell you because of all the blues and all not blues all the browns tans and oranges they are all in the same family of colors so it was really difficult to pull off something that didn't just blend all together. What I did on this is I started the page off with a watercolor base. And the watercolors I used were the Paul Rubin watercolors. They come in a little tube. I squirted them out in a palette and I mixed the colors I needed to go with different things because like I said there's lots of oranges and lots of tans and all that stuff but you can manipulate watercolor or paint to be whatever color you need so that is what I did and then I went on top of it with pencils and gel pen the candy wrappers do have sparkle gel pen on them maybe because I just I was done over trying and I was just oh it can be sparkly we'll use glitter gel pen but that is what turned out. And then I outlined the flames with one of those broad liners that I just showed you from the other page, an orange one. So, yeah. And since this is double-sided, it didn't get ruined because I used watercolor. And it's not like too badly worked, it's fine. So this is Cinnamon Bun Dreams by Squishable. That's my squeaky chair. <laughs> Next one I have here is Mickey Epissime Amis or something. I don't know. This is a French. Uh, this is in French. It's Colorage Mistress. And this is the simpler version. And um, I did this one. So it's not really a mystery because you can tell what the pictures are. But this is Donald, obviously, trying to catch a butterfly. Reminds me of Animal Crossing, trying to catch a butterfly. Uh, I did this one for one of my LOL prompts because I think it's funny. And um, what I've done is I've outlined with Crayola Super Tips and then I went in with my color in motion crayons, the twistable ones, and colored in the fill-in parts, basically except for the hat and the butterfly and the stick I colored those straight with the Crayola twist or Crayola super tips and then I took a sparkle um, gel pen and outlined where the butterfly has tried to get away from Donald winded Donald very very fun this is a fun book and I do think crayons is the way to go in this book because it's kind of a, a smooth paper, so it can give you a little bit of challenge. Next one I have is for my LOL funny prompt as well. This is um, Christopher Hart's uh, The Manga Artist Coloring Book Girls. 
And this was also for Color Your Horde because I had never colored in this book. And I did this one. So obviously we have this chick tripping over her kitty. And I think it's funny because look at the cat's face. He's like, ha 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 ha, I got you lady. You know? And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna spill. And she, yeah, I just think it's funny, yeah. Anyway, I had to give her a yellow dress because I love yellow. And um, she's wearing these platform shoes. No wonder she tripped. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, so the background I did with the King's Art gel crayons. Let me see. Oh, you want to see, honey? And um, I noticed after I did that and then wanted to go on top with my gel pens to color these, because I was going to color every single one, the gel pens don't want to go down after you've used the King's Art gel crayons. So you can color with pencil over it just fine, but gel pens, nah, -uh. they do not want to do it. So if you are intending on using a distress look on a background and you want to put gel pen on top, I would highly suggest that you use a distress ink because it doesn't give off this waxy, uh, I don't know what kind of texture it is, oily texture like a gel crayon. Now, if you're not going to, don't worry about it, but just an FYI. And then um, the white here, I used uh, a white uni ball to give her lacy ruffles. But yeah, I just think it's really funny. <laughs> anyway, there's that one. And that one also counts for the cute Chibi Summer because um, Manga and Chibi and Kawaii all kind of intertwine together. So that works. Next one I did. Oh, looks like I did two. I don't even remember doing any in here. Oh, surprise, surprise. So this is 100 Beautiful Mandalas by Camellia Angelcova. Let's see what I did in here. Ah, this one was The Lights Were Out. I picked colors at random. I was having a bad day and it turned out okay. There was a little bit of bleed out on this black down there, but it's okay. With all the pink, it's not too bad. And it looks like yeah, I have some glitter on there. Look at all that glitter. Glitter is a girl's best friend, just like diamonds are a girl's best friend. Oh, and this is the next one I did. A little bit better of a day. And this one, we have a random palette as well. Looks kinda, um, I don't know. I was gonna say Christmassy, but with the orange and the pink, not so much. In the blue. But that one turned out really cute too. These are fun to do because no matter if the same person picks the same colors, same gel pens, whatever, they always turn out different because everyone's perspectives are different. Next one I have, um, so I have Chibi Girls Volume 3 by April Amber. The, Hello, Mama. Hi, honey. The reason why I colored in this book, I will give you the real reason, is not because of the chibi hashtag or anything. It was bugging me to death that I had page book that were ruined by yellowing, which happens when you have bad alcohol markers. Oh. So I gave myself a personal challenge to try to fix the pages that had massive yellow problems to make it look like they never existed. Hello, Mama. And there was three of them. So this was the Hello. first one. Hello, honey. Hello, so the yellowing was all at the bottom of this. And she had some on her face, too. And I, now that I've colored it, I absolutely love it. And you can't even tell that there was any yellowing ever. So I think I think this was successful. This is alcohol markers. Um, we've got some gel pen. I used crayon for the sky. 
and um, I wanted to give her like a sun kiss type of look on her face. So I've used some of that Jane Davenport pastel and just rubbed it right there just to give her that look. And then I added freckles because she's a farmer girl. Why not? And she's singing, so we have to sparkle up the music note. And I'll let you guys see. The nails are done with a silver metallic to look like real nails. The next one that was um, I had to fix because of all the yellowing is this one, my hiker girl. So this one was basically just alcohol markers. I used a little bit of gel pen, did a little bit of um, outlining, just mainly on the girl. It looks like, oh, I did the rocks too. And then there's some sparkle gel pen on the end of her binoculars. This baffles me. She's looking through binoculars at night. Well, what would you be able to see at night? Through binoculars. But I knew it was night because that is not a sun. That is a moon. Suns have little things. But I guess you could make it a daytime picture if you wanted to be creative. But yeah, this is my hiker girl. She's cute. Love the color scheme. Hello. She kind of reminds me of a Girl Scout. So. Hello. Hello, honey. The last one was the worst one of the yellowing out of all of them. It was almost like the whole page wasn't yellow. It was almost orange. Okay. I did the best I could, guys. There she is. Okay. <laughs> so she's my DJ. I have sparkled this page to death. Um, obviously, I have given her a darker, com darker skin, bright pink hair. I couldn't do these spotlights yellow because they were orange. So we had to make them orange and I added Jelly Roll Moonlight. My daughter's waving to you. But she, but she looks like really hip and she's like, getting jiggy with it I yeah it's really fun it was like after I got going I just kept going <laughs> and then I made these glow sticks down here but I'll let you see all the sparkle look at all that she's pretty warped but I even put um sparkle mod podge on the black I think or maybe it was maybe it was nail polish I don't know I just kept adding glitter <laughs> yeah but I I think I successfully achieved getting all of my yellowed pages gone. Ta-da! Anyway, <laughs> enough of me being kind of silly. It's kind of late. So this is Chibi Girls Volume 3. Next one I have here is this one, Kawaii um, Grayscale Coloring Book by Jade Summer. So another J. Woohoo! And this is the one I did. I did this one on a Sunday. I was just filling it. And I really like her. She's art. It looks like an artist. I didn't know what color to do her shirt. Um, these strappy things made absolutely no sense. Because they're not holding anything up. So I had no idea what those were supposed to be. So I made them look like suspenders. But I still don't get it. I could have like added a line or something, but I don't know. It's just, yeah, I, it didn't make sense. Her outfit doesn't make sense in this picture. Her hair is all crazy, paints everywhere. It's fun. And I did put stickles on the water, it looks like, and white gel pen. And then I always, if my girls have pretty broad face right in your face, I have to outline their, um, mascara or their eyes with a uh, black either a black paint pen a black fine liner or something just to make them pop out because just the standard ink from the printing job doesn't do it justice so I always outline it a little bit more sometimes I even add more eyelashes so I she looks kind of scarce in her eyelashes maybe I should add more to her but it's done we'll call it finished so that's Kawaii um, Grayscale Coloring Book by Jade Summer. 
Next one I have here is Kokiyoshi Cuties, a coloring book. And I think this one was a buddy color. Yes. This one is a buddy color with Michelle from Michelle's Box of Hues on Instagram. She wanted to color this with me. And so we did. And I think it turned out really cute. I made my girl in yellow, obviously. Alcohol markers. And King's Art gel crayons for the background. I've... Um, Went over this part darker, like I said in the last one. Oh, it's just a fly, honey. And then I've even used um, gel pen, uh, like a sparkly yellow gel pen, to put the squirrels on her dress. So this is my girl by the bonsai tree. She must be really tiny if she's by a bonsai in a pot. So there is that. I bet this is um, the... Arteza paint pen because it's kind of shiny and I know this yellow is the um, Jelly roll glaze pen So that is Kokiyoshi cuties coloring book. That one's really cute. I could see myself finishing that one honestly guys All right next one I have here is spooky sweets coloring book illustrated by Carla Magana and I believe she just had a new book release and I think it's I think it's a sequel to this one maybe it's it's like themed around bats and I put it on my wish list it looks really cool maybe I'll have to get it for um Halloween or something but I decided just to color from the beginning this was a gift from Misty a while ago so I colored this grayscale image first, used some neon colors and just had fun with it. Kind of messy, but hey, it works. And then I did this one. And I did this one with all greens. And I used a, a gold um, King's Art gel crayon that was like kind of metallic-y gold for this background. And I think it looks fun. It's really zombie-like. Very fun. Next one I have here is Beach Coloring Book, Black Background by Color Questopia. And this one, of course, I couldn't follow the rules. <laughs> I did this one. So I colored the basic scheme of things. But I wanted to see how it would be if I would just color the girls' dresses in just gel pen, basically. And then I used, uh, see, I used this flower washi tape and then I ran out of it. So then I had to use a different one for the top and the bottom. But I think it works out. It looks good. And I shaded their skin and the sand and the water. But look how glittery they are because I used pretty much all glitter gel pens on their outfits. I love looking at it when people do this. It's like mesmerizing. Look at the glitter. <laughs> but this was fun. And um, I also put this for Ren's hashtag. She had a birthday hashtag. And Beach was one of the prompts. So I put it on her hashtag as well. All right. Next one we have here is Color by Color Stained Glass Mandala. And I did this one. This one's pretty simple. Was it the next one that I had in line? Yeah. So I've been working from back to front in this book. This is just alcohol markers. Now this one is a straight color. And I try I try to go just a shade lighter than what the actual outline it is. So it actually looks like I've outlined my work, but you really know it was already there. It says the secret. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's how this one turned out. It's pretty. So the next one would be the brown one. Next one I have is To Be Animals Grayscale Adult Coloring Book by Ava Brown. And I did this one. And this is a buddy color 
with Michelle um, from Michelle's Box of Hues again. I don't know if Michelle finished this one or not, but I'll show you mine. It's the rabbit, and he's carrying a giant carrot. I guess I could have used this for yummy too because a carrot thinks, or the rabbit thinks this is yummy. <laughs> and I made my um, bunny blue. And the, the thing that baffled me about this picture, I will tell you, is this thing. I created it to look like a like a beaver's dam or a log or something. But see how it has like little wispies? First like, oh, that could be grass. But then there's like an opening right here. So then I was like thinking, oh, it's a log. I don't know what this is. And I was talking to Ashley from Ashley's Coloring Journey. And she goes, oh, that's a waterfall. I said, eh, but it's got a hole there. So... That was the one thing on this picture. I don't know what that is. So if you guys know what this is supposed to be, tell me. Because then when I do the duplicate, maybe I can color it right. <laughs> but anyway, that is my bunny guy. And I did alcohol markers, white gel pen. For the highlights, there's a little bit of the yellow gel pen in his eyes. But that's it. Oh, and of course, washi tape. Come on, look. Look. Let me put it back, okay? I don't want to make a mess, okay? All right, so next one I have here is Chibi Girls by Jade Summer. This is a buddy color as well. And I could hear it sticking to the thing. So this is my businesswoman, and I did this one with Courtney. She has a YouTube channel, and she is Court. Court, Court May, or Court Marie 91 on Instagram. And this was a little bit of a challenge for me, I'll, I'll have to say, because I kept on thinking, well, what do I color this? What do I color this? I knew I wanted her to be redhead, and I knew I wanted one car to be yellow, like a taxi cab, and the mailbox it had to be blue. So I did that, and she's got jelly roll glaze on her luggage or her briefcase and her shoes because they're supposed to be shiny because she's kind of a fancy a fancy office girl and of course got lots of glitter when I got all this done I got to the door and I really didn't want to color what was inside this door because I did I was just done so I just colored it the color of glass kind of like it's a tinted glass shade and called it done so yeah I'm not sure if Courtney finished this or not but you can see all the glittery parts and the shiny parts but I'm glad to get another one done in here I have quite a few that I've done in this book okay guys so the last ones I'm going to show you were the ones that I accomplished during the chibi challenge and if you watch the Chibi Challenge, you've probably already seen these, but I will show you. Hi, y'all. I'm Apple. <laughs> She's showing you her food. Can you not do that, please? <sighs> Sorry, I sneezed, and then she got to the camera. Anyway, these are from the Chibi Challenge. <laughs> Bless me. Can you move your hands, please? No. Please move. Where's your jello? Where? Okay, so first one that I pulled here is from Jenny Luan. So it's a J, obviously. And no, this is and this is Chibi Doodle Whimsy Characters Coloring Book, Volume One. And I did the little uh, check in the box, and. This was, um, you can see in my little speed video what I used. That's basically, you know, alcohol markers and gel pen and stickles. All those wonderful goodies. Just kind of silly. And this worked for my LOL prompt too because it's funny. That was that one. Next one I did was in Yam Puff stuff, a coloring book. And this is by Yampuff, obviously. 
I did this girl with the cocoa and this counts for yummy and I did her Christmas colors so it counts for jolly coloring of Danielle's hashtag and um, I, I kept the color palette really simple and I think it looks great really fun and these dots up here are jelly roll moonlight so that was yam puff stuff next one I have here is princess coloring book by Daisy Joy no I didn't do all of those my daughter marks some that she wants me to color the only one that I actually did was this one the one that looks like Belle jamming out with honey this one could have been used as yummy as well because she's like licking this honey now I used the jelly roll glaze on the honey but this paper just sucked it in it doesn't even feel like a jelly roll glaze so yeah just FYI on this paper you missed and I use alcohol markers and gel pens that was basically it alcohol markers and gel pens Alright, next one. Again, my daughter Mark Pages. She wants me to color. This is Chibi Girls Coloring Book by Young Dreamers Press. And I did The Girl on the Beach. She was fun. Really simple color job. Tried to keep her all in the purple shades. And she's got sparkle gel pen on her swimsuit. There you go. Mama, you moved my office. Mama, why you moved my office? Next one I have here is Chippy Girls by Alice Brockmeyer. And she has two books. This is, um, it's hard to tell which one is which one. But the other one has like a 50 right here. So that can also help you a little bit. But I colored this one which is the girl playing soccer which is perfect for olympics the olympics right now and the soccer ball has glossy accents it kind of warped the page but it's okay Hi, okay put that back there. <laughs> and then i did this one which is the sailor and i made her have purple hair and kind of a golden Mama. yellow eyes Mama, one of my cats Oh, it's okay. And then the background is a stencil I used with the King's Art gel crayons. And that is it, guys. So those are all my completed pages. Mama. I have one whip that I started last night, and I know I won't be able to finish it by the end of this month, but I will show you what I'm working on. There's a hole! Okay. Dryer, dryer is okay. green. Okay. Mama, okay, so I this see, is. Mama, I think the dryer on her panda. Okay. Okay, sorry. This is Mickey and Co. Circles Magics. And so everything in here is like a circle. And I decided I wanted to attempt one of these um, larger pages. And so I'm working on this. And I, I colored some of these uh, to be like little bookmark placers for whips and made them hard like a card so that I could do that. And I, so I colored this that month, this month too. So if you want to look at that, you can. This is a PDF that I've just shrunk down. So we have Mickey and this is going to be Pluto. I've done the black and I've done the dark gray. Um, the black is actually done with the Arteza um, acrylic paint marker, and the dark gray is the super tip. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I have been doing it like I will outline the circle and then color it in, and then the in-betweens I kind of color in, color in, instead of like outlining the section and then coloring it in because I want it to look uniformed like 
how it does here, you know, so that it doesn't have any large streaks. But this is my start, and it's going to take me a minute to do this. And I know I won't finish it right away. So that is that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for the interruptions. Uh, that's the life of a mom. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And you guys take care. Tell me what was your favorite page. Um, if you want to do future buddy colors, um, let me know and I can put you down sometime in August and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys and thank you for watching. Bye.